Hey, man. What up? It's my turf. Well, they called me for an estimate. What's up, Lathan? Hey, what's up? How are you doing today? Doing good. Hope all of you guys are doing good as well. We're out here at first commercial property. I did want to say we got a little bit of rain last night, and it's a little chilly actually this morning, huh? Yeah, it's 63. Lathan said it's 63 if you guys couldn't hear him, but uh, yeah, we'll take it right now. Any little bit of moisture we can get, we do need more. But uh, this property, I don't know, they must have got a little bit more than what we got uh, back towards the house because it's got a lot more green than stuff out our way. So let's get to it.
right guys knock this one out real quick we've been passing quite a bit of them by everything's just burned up like this one here that's got irrigation on it that's why it's nice and green oh got myself on. no cracks winning all right looks like we're about wrapped up here and we're going to be moving on uh in just one second i'm just working on an estimate that i just got done doing with a gentleman for a tree install simply guys uh i did tell him i was recording he just asked me not to show the property uh or his address or him or you know any details about him just because you know we do have a large platform here and we don't want to cause anybody any problems we're just simply sharing what happens in the hoa sometimes and we've dealt with this a ton in the past i mean they can yap about bird feeders they can yap about cars parked in the driveway. You name it, somebody can complain about it. We actually had a lady, an elderly lady, she painted her entire house, okay guys? No joke, the HOA did not like the color and they made her repay to paint her color, paint the house another color of their choice. They gave her three options and uh, simply she just was unaware. You know, she was an elderly lady. This was probably six, seven years ago, uh, maybe even eight years ago, she was a customer of ours and yeah painted her house and they didn't like the color and they came back and said hey you got to change it and pay to have it changed so hoas can be crazy but i did tell this gentleman i'm going to block out his information and anything about it so the next video coming up is going to be my conversation with him and what he is dealing with and i'm going to have to blur out some words as well because you know people get upset and i understand that but uh, i'll do the best i can for you enjoy let's go i took a big tree out of here and I was thinking of putting something in here to replace it w with another tree because you got to have, you're supposed to have so many trees. Yeah. I mean, it's insane. How long ago was the tree removed? Uh, about a year and a half ago. A year and a half ago? Yeah. It was right in this, same, yeah. this location? Yeah, it was right in, right in here. Only concern I would have is they don't ever recommend to plant a tree exactly where another tree was. Oh just for certain purposes normally they don't do as well they took it out but they didn't have to put new soil in because there was enough there was enough of a mound here enough here to regrade yeah. it out getting on my uh, all over a tree another tr yes <laughs> it's a long story i don't want to bore you oh we deal with the time. hoas all the time they're i know they're, they're they're just so hard i mean you don't know you don't know technically what you can do and what you can't do uh do you have any kind of tree in mind that you're thinking uh you know, river birch, birch, you know. So crazy backstory here. The HOA told that gentleman to take a tree out of his yard. He ended up paying to have the tree professionally taken out of the yard. And then a year later, the HOA sends him a letter telling him he has to plant a tree in his yard. Yeah, I'll tell you what. I'll keep my behind out in the country where I don't got to worry about anybody telling me to do anything or plant anything or remove anything. I will stay out here and I will enjoy the rest of my life living in the woods or far, far away from anybody that thinks they can tell me to plant a tree or not to plant a tree. I'm just sitting there because, you know, you almost think it's like unbelievable but in reality, these HOAs, they will go far above, like telling you not to park a car out there, uh, colors you can paint your house. It's insane. Just a real quick freshen up, really. It's not dead, but it's not like thriving either. But, oh, all right guys, so Lathan's just got a little bit of cleanup in the backyard real fast, and then we're gonna be on out of here. But I uh, wanted to share something with you. It's getting wild out here in the business world. In the last two days, I'm not kidding you, we've had three different offers on two of our businesses uh, to purchase them outright. So uh, storage unit, two different companies offered to buy us outright where I could have walked away with a ton of money. Uh, simply, that's not what we went into it for. And we're gonna stick to our original plan and uh, we wanna build something for long term. But a couple different companies have called us and uh, Wanted to know if we'd be interested in selling the lawn care landscaping side of things. And uh, <laughs> I don't know. I, I think it's it's funny. You know, all they can do is try. But it's just like, I don't know. It seems like nobody wants to build anything anymore. They just, uh, they instantly just want to buy it and have it. Like, 
I put 10 years worth of work, you know, going on 11 into this thing. Like it's not, it's not for sale. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not just like my morals, you know, my morals aren't for sale. And, you know, I don't know if that's becoming harder and harder for people to comprehend these days, but it's just, it's not, it's me. It's our personality and uh, the way we want to do things. Now, at some point, would I sell it off? You know, when I get older, maybe give it away. I don't know. Uh, there's not a lot of end value in lawn care, landscaping, and snow removal, to be honest with you. I, uh, I had a conference last year uh, that Stanley Dirt Monkey uh, and LMN put on down at the GIE. Then we spoke to uh, people in the audience and they could ask questions, this or that. And it was just a pro panel. And we were up there along with others. And one of the questions that he was asked, I'm talking about Mark Bradley, which owns LMN uh, and is was one of the largest landscapers in all of Canada at some point. I don't know what his company was called, uh, but I'm sure you could Google real quick and find out. But he, he sold his company, his landscaping company, and I think he said it maybe went for like 30% of what they, they thought the projected value was of it. So, and you're talking hundreds and maybe if not thousands of employees, and really the return came on just some of the equipment. There was no real value in other parts of it uh, as much as what we would assume, you know, like the, obviously you can sell off your customers, you know, for a percentage, this or that. Uh, but yeah, that's a whole different ball game there. And you can get a little bit back. Uh, you know, it's every day people are selling their companies or trying to, and we get asked all the time, you know, uh, I'm looking to buy this company. What would you pay for it? And, and that's just a really hard one to answer because, you know, you don't know, are they really trying to sell off all these accounts, completely get out of it? You know, did they work something out with the companies where, hey, in a year from now or a season or three months, you fire them and then all of a sudden they're back in business and back servicing those same customers that you paid for? Uh, so what I would say, and this is not legal advice, little disclaimer here, if you are interested in buying any companies, uh, or buying somebody out, I would get everything, everything in writing, and I would have one heck of a non-compete agreement put up there, or uh, NDA I'd also have up there, a non-disclosure agreement if you guys have that. And like I said, this is not financial advice, this is just simply me telling you uh, from my perspective if I was going to do it, which I've never bought an account off anybody, uh, that's what I would do. I would just make sure you're covering your behind. You don't want to buy something and then, you know, somebody just comes back and takes it or has an inside deal. And it does happen. Inside deals happen a lot. But, uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. Cover your behinds as always. And Spencer Lawn Care is not for sale. <laughs> guys, I don't know if you can pick that up or not. Check out all these geese. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that was pretty funny the blue car was coming towards us we've been sitting here for like a minute but the blue car was coming towards us and the geese were walking down the road straight towards us so we kind of forced them to have to choose the side Hey man. What up? This is my turf. Well, they called me for an estimate. No, you didn't. I'm dead sick. Why what else would I pull up here? You ain't never saw me Why here. Why are you in this area, man? It's no joke, turf. I got this call yesterday to give this estimate. It yeah. Is what it is. Where's your helper? I'm just messing with you, man. So some of you are probably wondering where TQ is and simply guys, Miley got her braces put on today. So TQ took the day off.
All right, guys, at this location, I'm going to do a quick estimate for lawn care and uh, for mulch. So, just got some information. Dark brown. I'm going to take a quick walk on it and kind of point out to you guys some of the things I look for. I'll let Lathan grab this real quick. Here, Lathan, will you set this back in there, please? I got the information I needed. Thank you. All right, guys, going to be doing a mulch landscape estimate and also for lawn care here as well. Gentleman called and wants us to take a peek. So I already see the boxwood, so I'm going to go ahead and count those up. I'm not going to worry about the grasses right now. Fall time, if they want them knocked down, we can come back and take care of that. The hoss does. I just need to count the boxwoods. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Clean these up as well. Get these reshaped, rounded up. So always look for this as well, guys. Cable, I'm not real sure. Maybe irrigation. So I'm just recording this one for my personal use those are really pretty nothing back here a little bit of gravel here i don't know i'll have to message see if they want us to take that out nothing on the patio that i see there's a little spot on the other side boxwood get those all cleaned up A lot of boxwood. Sorry if my film is not that great. I'm on a hillside here. I'll come over here. Uh, I don't see any boxwoods in here. Maybe just clean, clean up or maybe even take out one or two of these. They're just kind of a bit overgrown. I'd maybe take out those corners. Maybe even just that back one. See how it would clean up. Pasta. A lot of boxwoods. More grasses. Tree looks pretty good. Looks like it's been on, kept up with. More. Well, the bed used to come up pretty good. I have to message about that. They must have been trying to bring the edge back in, if you can pick that up. The edge is in now, you know, a few feet at least. Grasses are good. Some cleanup in here. Looks like somebody's already sprayed it, so that's good. Not much weed growth. A little bit of thistle here. More boxwoods. You can see the lighting wire. That's good at least to know. It looks like it goes right to there. Good question to ask the customer as well about lighting. You can see the lighting in there and irrigation. Uh, you just don't want to be bringing an edging machine in. You can see the irrigation nozzle there. And just a little bit of cleanup in here. Not too bad. And we're back to the front. There you have it. Another beautiful day here in the state of Ohio. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Fingers crossed this video works tonight. If it doesn't, I am going to lose my stuff after last night. So we've been texting or not texting, emailing back and forth with YouTube today. They think they have it fixed. Some kind of server issue. I don't know, stream issue. They think they got it taken care of. They did tell me. And I also want to reiterate to you guys to make sure you're checking your notification bell. Uh, and making sure you have it connected so that you get notified whenever the video goes up because unfortunately sometimes subscribers get lost so hope you enjoyed the video as always keep mowing keep growing keep making money boys we'll talk to you later tq out peace bye